Hey y'all, this is Rachel of Rachel Land Plans, and today I will be planning out the month of June in my 7x9 plum paper planner. So let's take a quick look at last month. Love this kit, so, so cute. And again, just like the month before and the month before, I still haven't figured out a way to use this spread because of the stickers. Anyway, here's how it turned out. I also, let's see here. I also put in my month in pictures for April. So I got that filled out. I have not done May yet. I'm a little behind considering it's June 2nd and I'm just now doing June, but I did get this filled out. So that's exciting. The only problem with this one is, is that I didn't leave room to write with each one of these pictures represent so if I'm looking like years from now at this and I you know I might not know what all this represents but that's okay okay so this is just an example if you haven't watched other uh, monthly plan with me's I usually put information as far as what the stickers represent so that's what I was talking about as far as this so there's the pictures though I really loved how it turned out so excited about my little kitten so let's get started I am using a another kit from Saray May 3 I again I have no idea if I'm pronouncing it correctly if anybody knows the correct way if I'm not saying it right please let me know in the comments I hate to butcher names and but I don't I don't know otherwise so I'm using this super cute kit. It has little daisies and rainbows. And it's, I just thought it was really, really cute. So this is the one I picked from her shop. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get these pages out. Now, like I said just a second ago, I am behind. My daughter moved this past weekend, so I am kind of all over the place. I still haven't planned to help my week for June. <laughs> I did plan out the, the week in my daily planner, so that's all going good. Let's just get started. I need to do this too, so let me just get into this. So I am going to move this out of my way somewhere. Okay, whenever I got my planner, I went ahead and put a bunch of stickies of, as to where like holidays would be because at the time I didn't have the Christiane Designs uh, celebration collection so I needed to know like where the holidays were because I don't get the holidays on my planner um, that is an option from plum paper to either have holidays or not or you can add your own but the problem with that is for me is that I redate it to start on Monday so even if I got all the holidays on here I'd have to just wipe them out anyway so I just got them without holidays so I'm gonna lay down these stickers here at the top. Oh, that didn't want to come off. Oh, don't rip. Please don't rip. Okay. Whew. So last month, I just lined it up with this line, and I think that's what I'm going to do this month as well but I will be whiting out this June real quick just in case it wants to show through the sticker. I honestly cannot believe it's already June, it's crazy. I was actually not looking forward to June because I knew my daughter was moving out. <laughs> okay, so let me put the other side on. I will white out this 2021. These lines up here on the top of this make it very convenient. I think one of the Plan with me's that whenever I was planning out the month, I whited it out, and that was a huge mistake. So the next thing I am going to do is just put on these uh, the days of the week, and I'm just going to white out each one of these, and then just put the sticker or yeah, the sticker in its place. So I start my monthly on Mondays because that's how the weeks are, and it just makes sense when I do glance at this to look at holidays and stuff I want to make sure I'm on the correct day and I also made a mistake of planning out my meal plans in my daily planner I was not paying attention and I had put in my meals for the week not really not realizing that I hadn't changed the daily month view from Monday for a Monday start in 
it screwed me all up. That was fun. So I had to white out everything I had written in my plan with me during one of my weekly plan with me's because I had did that. It was annoying. I don't know why planner companies don't just do the month view starting on a Monday because they do the week views that way. It just doesn't really make any sense to me or start them on a Sunday that way it matches. Start the week views as a Sunday that way it matches what they already have like this. Anyway, Ramble City. So I'm just putting down these days of the week and they're probably not completely straight. But that is okay. They're straight enough. Okay, and then down here where this little calendar is, I'm gonna put one of these little rainbow, looks like um, like a cross stitch. I can't remember what they're called. I used to cross stitch back when I was pregnant. That was a long time ago, but my mom when I was growing up would cross stitch. And so I picked that up from her, but I can't remember what those things are called right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna take one of these stickers and stick it down here just for decoration and I hope that I can put it on fairly straight. See that's cute. And then oh I guess I could have put this little book but I do like that better. Okay these boxes actually do fit in um, side here like perfectly. So I got these little strips that I'm going to put here at the bottom just to add a little bit more color down here. Okay, so those are down. Now I am going to put in these date dots. Since I changed it to a Monday start, I need to move all the dates to the correct day. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that is done and I wasn't crazy about the star one that I put down during that. So I think I'm just going to put this little book and it ripped up a little bit of this paper, which is not surprising. It's plum paper. You got to be very careful with your stickers, even if they're removable. Sometimes this paper just can't handle that. There is that. Let's see. Maybe I'll put down this sidebar. I haven't done this sidebar before. Let me see how it's gonna, because I might. Okay, never mind. Because if I were to do it, it was gonna go into this. So we'll just skip that part. I've never used it before. So I thought, well, maybe I'll use it this time, but nope. Okay, so I am going to put this month on this little line just in case I decide to put something there. And then I also need to move this. I guess I'll just do it right now. My sister-in-law's birthday is on the 5th. So I'm going to do, I'll use one of these little blue ones and write in her birthday. Let me grab, oh, they might be in here. Yeah, they will, I think, yes. That is so loud. Like I'm so used to being able to put my pen down and it not be like super duper loud. But ever since I started using this metal one, it's like, ooh, super loud every single time. Okay, so let's see what color I think I'll use. This little golden kind of color. So these are just some gift, little like mini gift icons from Planner Kate that I had got a long time ago. Okay, I'll just leave it alone. I need to do an organization. This thing is, that's packed full, full of stickers. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that, did I put that on? Uh, it's crooked. The little icon that I put on there, I put it on crooked. These are like, it's like this little piece that didn't wanna come off. Cut it off or not. <laughs> oh, the struggle. Oh, now I'm. Mm, did I just. Okay. Did I cut the whole thing? I sure did. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's do this again. 
I cut this sticker, y'all. I cannot. Okay, well this is not going as smooth as I would like it to go. Okay. Look how smooth that came off. Awesome. Okay, on the fifth. <laughs> okay, m m I'm moving on. I'm laughing because the ink smeared. I mean, good grief. Okay, so those are done. Got that in. Now, as far as holidays go, I won't be using the rest of these right now. I'm gonna keep them just in case other appointments. Actually, we do have an appointment on the 10th. Let me put that in there. I'm gonna use, I'll just use this blue, except I don't know what time. I don't know what time. We have a CPA appointment. And I'm just gonna put at because I don't I don't remember what time. I don't know why this ink is not like soaking into her stickers because they're just like matte stickers, but I can like see the ink glistening. I don't know, it's shining. Now, if any other appointments come up, I will use those leftover stickers. But now I'm going to pull out the celebrations collection and get all these fun stickers in here for the month. I knew it was Pride Month. It's also National Candy Month. Mmm. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of candy sitting in my Amazon cart right now. So I'm going to put that here. I'm gonna also going to white out this 30 just so it's not there anymore. And then National Candy Month, mm, I'll put it at the bottom. So my husband and I, we love the watermelon and the peach Jolly Ranchers because they're just the best and you can't oh my goodness that's probably still crooked that's okay so we like the watermelon and and peach jolly ranchers so i have those in my cart so i have a little jar that i put candy in and i just needed to refill it and it's just kind of funny that it's national candy month okay so we're going to go to june's holidays okay so here we go I'm actually going to take these out real quick because trying to fight this to get the stickers off is kind of a pain. Oh, and, oh, sorry. And I need to grab tax day because I moved tax day last month because it had been postponed to the 17th. And so I moved it into May or May 17th, but for Texas, Oklahoma, and another state, it has... It changed again to June. Is it June 15th? I think it's June 15th. That's where I'm putting it anyway. So it changed because of the bad snowstorm we got. That was part of the disaster relief. So there is that. Okay, so the first was Nash or no nail polish day, which I am all about nail polish. Although I cannot do my nails because of my job. I still love nail polish. Then we got Donut Day. I think I'm just going to spread these out. And that way I can see. Okay. Donut Day is on June 4th. I love Chrissy Ann Design stickers. It's just really hard to get them off the page at first. Donut Day. Not too much of a donut eater. I like eclairs and I also like, like donut holes. But I prefer like kolaches for breakfast at from the donut place okay drive-in movie day Ooh, we do have a drive-in here on the 6th that won't happen we won't be doing that because i'll have to be at work at 5 a.m the next day maybe we'll do it saturday night hmm. okay next one june 8th is best friends day ballpoint pen day is on june 10th i don't use ballpoint pens anymore and haven't for a, a long time well I take that back. I probably used one today actually, but not for my planner stuff. Like when I'm just writing down notes and I just grab a pen and it's usually a ballpoint pen in our kitchen because I don't want anybody stealing my gel pens. <laughs> okay, so let's see, June 14th. Okay, flag day. It's on the 14th. World Sea Turtle Day. Oh, sea turtles are so cute. Eat your vegetables day. I'm sure if parents or of young kids are sticking by these 
wacky holidays. Eat your vegetables day is not gonna be fun for them and their kids. I used to have to really talk my daughter into eating vegetables. I wonder if y'all can hear me because I'm not talking very loud. Okay, Juneteenth on the 19th. I really need you to go on there straight-ish. Okay, first day of summer is the 20th. Father's Day is the 20th. Oh, first day of summer and Father's Day are on the same day. So let me take this off. Okay, uh, 21st is National Selfie Day. I don't know about y'all and like your age, but back in my 20s, we used to take selfies, but we did not call them that. I'm probably 20s and before, but we didn't call them selfies. Okay, next page. 23rd is Pink Day. Now, I know that Christy Ann Designs, or, or Kristen herself, is into pink, but I... Pink is not my favorite. I mean, it's not horrible, but I'm not into pink like that. Okay, so we have some sort of holiday here. Don't know what that is. Midsummer. Uh, I'm not sure what that is either, so I'm just going to keep going to... The 25th, which is take your dog to work day. And that is not even remotely a possibility for my job. That's cute if you're able to do that. Uh, next one, June 30th is social media day. For many, many people, it's social media day every day. <laughs> All hours of the day, social media day. Okay, and I think that's it for June. I'm going to look these two up to see what those are, and I'm, we'll add them if we, if that is something we will celebrate. And go ahead and put those back. Okay, so I'm going to put, this is all I do as far as the spread itself. There's a lot less holidays than I'm used to. Oh, I also need to put my paydays on here real quick too. So I'm, I'm just going to put the pages back in my planner. I actually have my seven by nine on disc from Plum Paper. They punched, they do a disc bound punch now. I used to not do that. I used to punch on myself with the Happy Planner disc puncher. I actually prefer that because it's a, a different type of little notch. It's like a tighter one. I just like it better. Okay, so that's way off the point. Let me put my paydays in. I actually, I get paid on this Friday, which is the Fourth. I'm just going to use my tweezers so I don't put it on ridiculously crooked. I move up donut day. Chrissy Ann Design stickers are, are her current stickers, like her new stickers. I have heard that her old stickers are different. But these particular stickers, they come off, they go off and on so easily. I put that on crooked. That's okay. They are, to me, the best when it comes to a repositionable sticker. Got my paydays in. All right, so this is how the month looks. Okay, so the next step will be, I need to glue this to this. So the next step is gonna be my budget page, and what I'm going to do is use an old edition three uh, monthly collection sticker book from Erin Condren, and what month are we, June? And I'm just gonna use these stickers just kind of for a little bit of decoration. Nothing major, but just, you know, something to put some color on here. And I think I'll go down below this little line. I don't know why I do this every single time. Okay, let's try this again. When I start on the other side, I always end up having to redo it because it goes like past the line because it's longer. Just white out where it says May because it's not even for May. It's for June. I don't know if y'all use tweezers, but sometimes it's just more convenient. You can line things up a lot quicker than having to take them, like having to take the stickers off and reposition them over and over again, which is just not fun. Okay, so then I'm just gonna write monthly bills here on the top line. Uh, oh, I thought it, <laughs> it does look like mouthly but it's not. <laughs> what, what is happening? Let me just do that. Okay. 
I don't, y'all, I don't. I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is write down all of our bills, um, break them down into weeks so we know how much we owe for bills each week, and that's how I do our budget page. Of course, I'm not gonna do it on here. It is not for the public. Actually, while I'm putting this back in, I need to glue this page so y'all can see that hot mess happen real quick. Okay, let me do that. Because in the plum paper you get, I was trying to figure out what I was doing. You get the end of the month and the beginning of the month in each month. That didn't make any sense. I've explained it in another video, but you get two of the same week and I choose the to use the week that um, has the most days as far as current days. So you can see here that all this is grayed out. That's because that's all June and this is May. So for May, my week or my month ended on the 30th and then I started into June. So. So I just lined up the little notches here. It makes it a lot easier than trying to like line it up on the sides. So there's that. The month and pictures will be done at the uh, beginning of July. I'll go ahead and print out all the pictures that I took during June and put them in here like I showed y'all at the beginning. And then I also need to glue this page to this highlights page because I don't use that page. And I like when I use my tab I like to be able to open it out on the actual month and not this page so I'm just gonna glue that real quick and there you have it this is like such a different <laughs> color than that okay so that is it that is how I plan my month it's very simple I will get this filled in off camera and figure out some sort of way to use this I've <laughs> said this in every single video but i really th i'm sure there's some kind of like way that people use their monthly and it's effective i don't have little kids so i don't have any like sporting events or any of that type of stuff so like my paydays and the few appointments and birthdays that's the only thing i can think of if you have some sort of good idea or a functional way that you use your monthly spread, let me know in the comments because I would really like to know a good way without getting rid of my stickers. So I don't know if that's even possible anyway. Okay, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I will have my weekly plan with me up on Sunday, kind of back to regular scheduled programming, if you will. I um, just kind of had to take a few days off and all that um, with my daughter's move and everything but getting back on track and I will see y'all then bye y'all